Hello ladies and gents and welcome to this lecture on the compare and contrast thesis for your first essay, project one. Uh, this worksheet is designed to help you break down the big ideas of the essay and to then incorporate them in a meaningful way into a clear and concise argumentative thesis statement. So the first thing I'm asking you to do in this thesis worksheet is to create your own definition for the term revenge. Uh, put it in your own words. You can gather inspiration from other sources like the dictionary or from Seltzer's article, but do put it in your own words in this worksheet. I'd like you to do the same for justice. By clearly defining these two terms, we are laying the groundwork for our thesis. And this work isn't uh, just for the worksheet. Uh, you are going to be asked to define both of these terms in your essay as well. So getting these definitions down in a clear and meaningful way is going to help you as you draft your essay in the coming days. Then I want you to explain one significant difference between revenge and justice and uh, kind of outline why it's significant. And then I want you to discuss a similarity between the terms. What do they have in common? What might someone confuse one for the other? Something along those lines. Both of these elements of the worksheet are things you're going to have to be doing in your essay as well. So once again, we're just laying the groundwork, uh, trying to double dip here, make your work as efficient as possible. Uh, and then in number five, which of these terms do you think is the major theme of Murder on the Orient Express and why I need at least one piece of specific evidence for this? Um, and there's really no right answer, which is the wonderful thing about Agatha Christie's Murder on the Orient Express. It could be either one. It could be revenge or justice, depending on how you define the term and depending on how you support your argument. There's no right answer. They're both equally correct. There's just better supported answers. And so make sure you support your opinion really well in this essay in order to get good points. And then finally, I want you to write a thesis statement that does a couple things. It needs to provide context. It needs to acknowledge the complexity of the thing we're doing. And it needs to argue clearly which term you think is the primary one in terms of theme for the essay. I know we're probably used to listing thesis statements where we say, uh, Agatha Christie says this is revenge because uh, the character stabbed him lots of times, uh, somebody they love died, and um, they did it out of anger. So it's a listing thesis. We're listing several ideas. We're moving beyond that now that we're getting into English 101. We want more complex thesis statements. And so you have to do all three of these things uh, in a clear and concise one sentence long thesis statement. So I want to show you an example just to kind of help you out. So the first thing you have to do is provide context for your analysis. Uh, I do that here in this sample thesis statement by providing the author and the name of the book. So Agatha Christie's novel Murder on the Orient Express. That's our context. Check. Got that box done. Then we're going to acknowledge the complexity of both terms. Revenge and justice are really complex ideas. And so uh, I say here that... Agatha Christie's Murder on the Orient Express addresses the complexity of human nature uh, and the innate willingness of people to do just about anything. Uh, that kind of deals with revenge and justice, um, makes us realize that people can stoop to a lot of levels if they feel like the scales need to be balanced. Um, and then finally argues the implications if your chosen term is at the heart of Christie's work. And so we uh, see that justice should be served here. Ooh, let's get that right there, perfect. Uh, we want justice to be served. So I'm arguing that justice is indeed the true theme and it ties back to the complexity of human nature and the willingness of people to do anything to right the scales. Um, your thesis statement could look different. That's great. As long as it's doing these three things, we'll be good to go. Does that make sense? All right, so uh, fill out this thesis worksheet, weave your ideas together as best you can, submit the thesis worksheet, and I'll give you some feedback in uh, the gradebook um, about your thesis, but really do make sure you're checking these three boxes. We need context, we need to talk about how this is a complex thing we're doing, and we need to clearly say what the theme of the book is. Awesome, I look forward to seeing what you create.